Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday, June 14th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I, I pray you were able to join us yesterday, either uh, online or in person. Uh, if you missed uh, the worship, it's still online, still on our website. Uh, and pa Pastor, Nation, Pastor Nathan delivered a wonderful uh, message to us. Uh, and we're going to kind of look at the theme that we uh, that we unwrapped a little bit yesterday, For God So Love, For God So Love the World, right? And uh, of course, it's Soulful Songs of Summer. That's our, our uh, focus, uh, our, our series, if you will. Uh, and so we're looking at various songs. I'm excited about that because I think that sometimes songwriters, poets, uh, they use words that take the things of God and touches our heart with them uh, in, in a way that maybe just just straight words couldn't do, right? Uh, uh, so um, that, that that was a focus. Um, it's just let me read the beginning of the song real quick, and then we want to go. I want to go to Isaiah fifty-five. So it says, "Come all you who are weary, come all you thirsty, come to the well that never runs dry, drink of the water, come and thirst no more. Come all you sinners, uh, come find His mercy, come to the table He will satisfy, taste of His goodness, find what you're looking for." And then it says, "For God so loved the world." Uh, there was a famous Christian that lived a long time ago. Uh, and, um, and he says something like, um, every human being is always searching and never finding, um, uh, apart, uh, from Jesus, <laughs> apart from the true God, huh? And, and that's really true. We, we look in so many different places for the water to fill us up, huh? Uh, for something, uh, to, to fill our soul. Uh, and we go from one thing to the other, um, uh, it, it it might be um, it it might be alcohol. It it might be work. Uh, it might it might be so many things. A particular person in our lives, uh, whatever it is, it's if we look to that to to fill up our soul, um, we'll always come short, uh, and and so we'll all, always be thirsty. Uh, but Jesus, He calls Himself the Water of Life, uh, and the Living Water, huh? and, and so in Him we can be filled up. We can be what we are meant to be. Uh, and, and that's, that's the story that God gives us, that we are created to have relationship with him. Uh, we lost that uh, through sin, and we can't find our way back. So God comes to us, uh, and in Jesus, he connects us to God. And uh, God is the water that can fill our soul, because we were made like a lock and a key to only be filled up, only be complete in this relationship with him and life with him. So let, let me read. I'm going to take two days to go through this section from Isaiah 55, and, and uh, here's the first part. It says, Come... All you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. And so this is the first amazing thing about this water that God offers us, this water of life, this one thing that can fill us up, fill our souls. Um, it's not something we can buy. Uh, in fact, we, we, if we sold our everything we had, we couldn't afford it. Huh? It's... It's a grace thing. It's God's undeserved love. It's what Jesus did for us on the cross. It's a gift. Uh, and, and when we see this, uh, and when we, we, we understand this, it, it, it's such an amazing reality that God comes to us. And, and, and by the way, we, we can't find our way back to God, right? Uh, the Bible says that we're dead in our trans, transgressions and sins. We can't know God of ourselves, huh? Uh, Jesus says that uh, no, no one come to the Father unless the Father draws him to himself. Huh? And God certainly would have all people be saved, come to a knowledge of the truth. And his spirit uh, uh, guides us to him. Um, and, and yet there is that, that, that reality as well um, that, that uh, he won't make us drink. He won't force himself on us so that we can receive the gift uh, or we can reject it, right? Uh, and, and so that's what faith is all about, to trust uh, this relationship with God, to receive this relationship with God. But it's free. It's absolutely free what Jesus did for us on the cross, uh, washed us clean in his blood so that we can have connection with God again as, as his dear children. Uh, so this, this goes on. So after it hits that grace thing, it says, why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and your soul will delight in the richest affair. So I, I love this. Um, we tend to spend money, spend effort to spend whatever it might be, uh, uh, to, to, to spend ourselves, in a sense, uh, on things that we think will fill us up, and they never do. They always fall short. And it says here, why do that? <laughs> why spend yourself on, on things uh, that, that will not fill you up, on things that will only disappoint you, on things that will only put you in jail, uh, whatever that jail that, that, that might be, right? Right. Um, when God offers you the real deal. 
and it's absolutely free to receive it by faith and, and to live in it. And then it, it goes on here. It says this, uh, give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. It's like Jesus says, whoever ever has ears, uh, let him hear, right? Uh, so that your soul may live. I will make the soul, the very essence of who we are, right? Uh, so that we might live. Uh, have life with God, the way, not just by us life, the pumping heart, but life with God that every moment and then finally into eternity. I will make an everlasting covenant promise with you, my faithful love promised to David. Uh, and, and so the, God promises, it's, it's, a, it's a relationship promise, like a marriage, right? And he says, my covenant I will make with you, and I will be your God and you will be my people. Uh, so uh, let, let, let's pray. Uh, Father, uh, we thank you um, that in Jesus, the water of life, you come to us. And by your spirit, you whisper to our hearts, come, uh, receive, drink this water of life. It's absolutely free. Uh, and, and I give it to you uh, so that you might have life in me. We pray, Lord, that your spirit every day might empower us to receive this, to drink from it and, and to live in it uh, and to share. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.